All right, guys, even here in this video, I will explain to you why Dallas McCarver died in simple words, in a language that anybody can understand. I watched a couple of videos of some doctors reviewing his autopsy and based on that I'm gonna make a little shorter video which is gonna be a little bit simplified so everybody can understand and there will be no confusion. I will try to make this video as short as possible. I made a video about Matt Porter dying and many people were actually speculating why did he die and many people compared his death to the death of Dallas McCarver and I noticed that many people don't even know why Dallas died. Many people think that he actually just choked on a vehicle, which is not true, not true at all. And there is the autopsy, the official one, that was released. And unlike that of Rich Piana, in which the cause of death is not determined, unlike that one, Dallas' autopsy actually showed the, the, the cause of death. So we know for sure what it was. And before I actually tell you why did he die, first I want to tell you a couple of things. So first of all, the autopsy showed that he had a severe cardiomegaly, which is enlarged heart. And look at this, normal, average heart is supposed to be around 300 grams. You know how big his heart was? 833 grams, which is three times, almost three times bigger than the normal heart, than how big his heart actually was before. And aside from his heart being three times bigger than it should be, a gigantic heart, he also had a severe coronary artery arteriosclerosis, which is a plaque in the arteries. So keep this in mind, this will be important in the end. But he also had heavy lungs, which is basically enlarged lungs, and his left lung, right one is usually lighter, but his left lung was almost 600 grams, which is much bigger than it should be. And he had no bronchitis, he had nothing... Nothing problematic with lungs. It's normal to have enlarged lungs if you have some kind of lung problem, some kind of bronchitis or some kind of lung infection, but he did not have that. It was just larger. He just grew for whatever reason. He just growth hormone or just anabolic steroids, I don't know, but, but it was much bigger. Then he had a hepatomegaly, which is enlarged liver. And this is absolutely insane. I'm sure those doctors that were doing his autopsy dropped their jaws and they weren't sure if this was even the human. Normal liver, average liver, is supposed to be 1.5 kilograms. If you don't know kilograms, just multiply that by 2.2 and you will get it in pounds. And his liver was not 1.5. It wasn't even double. It wasn't 3. It was actually 4.5. Three times bigger. That's 10 pounds. 10 pounds exactly. A liver that is 10 pounds heavy. Can you imagine how big that liver is? I don't know if bulls have that big of a liver. This is insane. This is crazy. I'm sure those doctors were scared. They were looking at it and they weren't knowing what they were looking at. 4.5 kilograms liver. Then the next thing was nephrosclerosis, which is enlarged kidneys. 503 grams was the one on the right and 450 grams was on the left. So imagine that, that's one pound, one kidney, one pound, which is absolutely crazy. I mean, I'm just blown away with these numbers and uh, he basically had organomegaly. So all of his organs were much larger than they should be. And on top of that all, he had thyroid cancer, actually. But that wasn't the cause of that. That would probably come up as a problem later in his life. He didn't even know about it and uh, it wasn't really at that stage. But he had a cancer as well. That wasn't the cause of that. And so now the cause of that was simply heart attack. Enlarged heart and a plaque in the arteries. So it wasn't choking on a bagel. It wasn't hypoglycemia because of too much insulin. At least it wasn't an autopsy report. And these doctors gave us an official cause of that, and that's heart attack. Because his heart was three times bigger, and he had a severe plague in his arteries. So that's why he died. He had a heart attack, simple as that. And the thing is, he had a history of heart disease. I mean, it was running in his family. And I'm sure that if he was sure that he's gonna die because of all the stuff that he was doing, he wouldn't do it. I'm sure it wasn't worth it. I mean, he did become a legend, and his death did make him immortal in a, in a sense, but I don't think he would do it. I mean, it's not worth it. What is worth dying? And nothing, right? So anyways, I mean, people die all the time from heart attack. People develop plaque in the arteries from 
much different stuff from this. I mean, there is a lot of bodybuilders who are pushing a lot of drugs and they have everything perfectly healthy. There is a lot of people who drink alcohol, smoke cigarettes, do all kinds of unhealthy stuff and have no problems. So the, the genetics played a really big role in this scenario. And if everything was right from that standpoint, if he had no genetic predisposition for arteriosclerosis, I think everything would be all right. I think he would be alive. I don't think it was the main reason why he died. I mean, the fact that he was using so much performance enhancing drugs, I think it was mainly genetic, but who am I to think? I'm not a doctor, but that's what they say and it makes sense. So I believe in that. Anyways, it is what it is. He died and now you know the reason. It wasn't choking on a bagel. Yeah, he was eating it at the time and when Josh called the ambulance, he wasn't sure what was it. So maybe he made an assumption that it was choking on a bagel, but it wasn't it, and it wasn't uh, hypoglycemia, it was simply heart attack, because the plaque in his arteries was severe. So that's about it for this video, I just wanted to enlighten you, so you know why did he die, and I just want to say, stay safe guys, be careful. If you have genetic predisposition for these kind of diseases, you know, don't do this kind of stuff. I mean, check yourself, do EKG, whatever it takes, I mean, try to stay healthy, I'm trying my best, I don't know, maybe something like this happens to me, I cannot be sure, but I'm gonna just try my best to stay as healthy as possible, and Dallas, he just wanted to sacrifice it, he was telling that in multiple interviews, he was like, I wanna give it all I have, because I don't wanna have any regrets, he did that, and uh, it didn't turn out well, he died, unfortunately, so that's about it for this video, guys, stay healthy.